Hello, and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your full moon reading. Oh my goodness, another full moon. And for those who have been wondering, where is the Lotus Love Show? You guys, I'm having to take a breather right now. Got a lot of things in my life that I have to get in order. And so hopefully I'll be able to come back with the show next week, okay? Um, but for right now, we are here with the full moon readings. Remember, these are very many readings just to give you an idea of where to set your intentions. So make sure you hear me very carefully. These are very many readings, no more than five to seven minutes. But it'll give you an idea of where to set your intentions for the full moon. For those who do not know how to set your intentions, look at the link below. And there's a link there that will give you instructions on what you need to do to follow those intentions. Also, um, you'll be able to apply this reading to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. And a hello to our cross watchers. You guys, at the end of your reading, I'm going to give kind of a brief um, description of what to expect during this Pisces full moon. So make sure you check that out right after your reading. Um, if you're on Instagram, follow us at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell, and every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Um, now, keep in mind that the energies will flip-flop, so if it doesn't relate to you, um, this could relate to your partner or some energy that may be surrounding you. I think that is all of the announcements. Okay, now, on to your reading. Hello, my Aquarius. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. I need to make myself a note here. Before I forget. Okay. All right, let's get right into your reading for the full moon. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on September 1st and 2nd, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on September 1st and 2nd, 2020? All right, that took a long time to come out, so it might be something going on with that. It's like you just didn't want to release. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? They begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on September 1st and 2nd, 2020. Okay. The Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on September 1st and 2nd, 2020. What messages need to go for for the sign of Aquarius? Oh my goodness. Way underneath the table. Okay, that one was the flyer award of the day. <laughs> okay. Holy Spirit. Uh-uh. I don't think that one was for you guys. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universal Messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on September 1st and 2nd, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? All right, that one's literally walking out. Okay. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on September 1st and 2nd, 2020. Ooh, right in the face. <laughs> All right, your cards were very emotional, Aquarius. Extremely emotional. Okay, so let's see what all this emotion is about. It looks like we got a kind of straightforward message here with just one, 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 one. Okay? Free yourself. I knew it. You're in bondage. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay? So that's really what this one is about. You're in bondage somewhere. Okay? 
You're needing to free yourself from that bondage. You're out of control. Something's out of control in your life. Something is not going the way it should go. Okay? You're out of control with something. Something has you out of control. And you know it. I feel like you, you know that you got to tighten up in this area or this situation. Yeah, waves of prosperity, new abundance, and exciting opportunities wash over you now. So the thing about it is that this is wanting to come in for you, but you, you're in bondage right now. You're blocking yourself. Okay, there's no way waves of prosperity can come in and you don't have control of your life. That's what's waiting for you. That's what's waiting for you. But it's up to you if you open that door to receive it. It's up to you. Go forward fearlessly. You're afraid of something. It's like, you know you've done something or you contributed to something and you're afraid to really make it right. You know what has to take place to make it right, but you're kind of afraid because it's going to kind of like blow up. And what I mean blow up, that means that it's like, say for instance, say for instance, you've been very passionate about saying somebody did this, somebody did it, they did it, they did it, they did it, they did it. And you got information that it really didn't occur like that. They really didn't do it, but you won't say anything. That's what this is like. You need to go forward fearlessly. You need to straighten out whatever wrongs that has happened. They need to be straightened out because you're in bondage right now. Dietary change, improve your diet, and your life will also improve. So if you or people around you or your family, whoever's not on a proper diet, if this card has come out, this is very serious, especially the time that we're in with this pandemic. It's so important that we're eating right. It's so important that we're getting the right nutrients in our bodies. It's so important that we're taking our vitamins. I cannot stress that enough. Perfect timing. So this is the perfect timing to try to get everything right. Timing is now. The timing is now. But you definitely are needing to free yourself. Something is just out of control. All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye. Just a little bit about this Pisces moon, you guys. Um, the Pisces moon, it's going to be a very emotionally charged full moon. So just get ready for that. Um, your emotions may be all over the place. Um, but for this full moon in, in Pisces, uh, please remember that the full moon is going to be in Pisces. But this is also going to be contrast with the sun and Virgo. And so just remember that the moon, it governs our feelings, um, our emotions, and it gives us the ability to nurture ourselves, okay? But on the other side, the sun, it governs our identity. Um, it governs our ego. Um, it makes us kind of tap into having that sense of self. So when these two powerful energies oppose one another, so we have a full moon that's in Pisces that's asking us to create a better balance between our heads and our hearts. And then the sun in Virgo is asking us to, you know, kind of recalibrate and rebalance ourselves. And so these are things that we really need to make sure we hone in into and also being able to use these energies to the best of our abilities. So during this time, you know, especially with the dreams that you have where you may consider yourself this just daydreaming, add some realistic plans to your daydreams. OK, really make some things happen. Put some things in in place that's going to kind of bring those daydreams to life. And then on the other hand, you got to stop sabotaging at yourselves and begin to face these, some issues that you may have head on, some things that you didn't want to deal with. Use this full moon energy to face those fears, uh, face those uh, different situations in your life that you want to kind of tuck away. No, face them head on and use that full, in, full moon energy for that. And then you're, you'll, you will find that um, you'll be better on the other side for that. Okay. All right, my love. So I hope this is giving you, a, you know, somewhat of an idea. This full moon will come in September 1st or 2nd, depending on where you live, okay? And uh, I hope that you're reading. I hope you've learned how to set those intentions, which is going to help you immensely in making sure you're using the power of this full moon. All right. Until next time. Bye-bye.